on the way back, we don't yet. army has destroyed the barbarians, and General Maximus is on his way back. Roma Victor! At last, it has come to an end. Receive the General with honor.
what a season he would have made. Father. He would have been strong. I wonder, would he have been just? I would have been what you taught me to be. How was your journey? Long. Uncomfortable. Why have I come? I need your help with your brother. Of course. He loves you. He always has. And he will need you now more than ever. Well, enough of politics. Let us pretend that you are a loving daughter and I a good father. This is a pleasant picture, isn't it? Send for me, Caesar. Caesar, tell me, Maximus, why are we here? For the glory of the empire, sir. Yes. Yes, I remember. For 25 years, I have conquered, spilled blood, and expanded the empire. Since I became Caesar, I have known four years without war. Four years of peace in 25. And for what? I brought soul. Nothing more. Caesar, you lie, please. Please don't call me that, Maximus. Come here. Let us talk now very simply as men. Well, Maximus, talk. Five thousand of my men are out there in the freezing mud. Three thousand are cleaved and bloodied. Two thousand will never leave this place. I do not believe the fort and die for nothing. Then what would you believe? They fought for you and for Rome. And what is Rome, Maximus? I have seen much of the rest of the world. It is brutal, cruel, and dark. But Rome, Rome is the light. Yet you have never been there. You have not seen what it has become. I am dying, Maximus. When a man sees his end, he wants to know that there was some purpose for his life. How will this world speak of me in the years to come? Will I be known as the philosopher, the warrior, the tyrant? Oh. How will I be known as the emperor who gave Rome back her true son? Maximus, there was once a dream. That was Rome. You could only whisper it. Anything more than a whisper, it will vanish. It was so fragile. I fear that it will not survive this winter. Maximus, let us whisper now. Together, you and I. You have a son. Tell me about your home. My house. My house is in the hills above Virginia. Two hundred and sixty-four days, and this morning, 
I envy you, Maximus. It's a good hope and worth fighting for. But there's one more duty I ask of you before you go home. What do we have to do, Caesar? I want you to become the protector of Rome after I die. I will empower you alone to give power back to the people of Rome and end the corruption that has crippled it. Will you accept this great honor that I have offered? With all my heart, no. That's why, Maximus, it must be you. But surely a prefect, a, a senator, somebody who knows the city, who understands its politics. But you, you are not corrupted by its politics. And Commodus? Commodus! Commodus is not a moral man. You have known that since you were young. Commodus cannot rule. He must not rule! You... You are the son that I should have had. Congress will accept my decision. I need some time, Miss Sire. Sure. By sunset, I hope you would have agreed. Now, embrace me like my son. And bring an old man, not a blanket. Are you ready to do your duty for Rome? Yes, Father. My son, you will not be the Emperor. Which wiser order man is here to take my place? My powers will pass to Maximus to hold in trust until the Senate is ready to rule once more. Rome is to be a republic again. Maximus? Maximus? My decision disappoints you? You wrote to me once, listing the four chief virtues wisdom, justice, fortitude, and temperance. As I read the list, I knew. I got none of them. But I have other words to father. Ambition! That can be worse when it tries us to excel. Resourcefulness. Correct. Perhaps, perhaps not on the battlefield. But there are many forms of courage. Devotion. To my family. To you. But, but none of my virtues. Where are you list? He went then to us as if you didn't want me for your son. Oh, Commodus, you go too far. I searched the faces of gods for the ways to please you, to make you proud. One kind word, one full hug, while you pressed to beat your chest and held me tight. You have been like the sun on my heart for a thousand years. Father, what's it in me? You hate so much! Promise! Your fault as a son is my failure as a father. Father, I would have butchered the whole world. <laughs> if you would have really loved me. <laughs> Father, sorry. <laughs>
to happen. <laughs> you! You never loved me! <laughs>
want all of them. It's the ready soul. You whisper to them. But I live only to hold them again. For all else, his dust and air. Whisper to them. That I live only to hold them again. address the many problems in the city. Beginning with the basic sanitation in great quarters to combat the plague that is already springing up there. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you see, Gracchus? That's the very problem, is it? My father spent all his time at study, reading books, learning his philosophy. He spent all his twilight hours reading scrolls from the Senate. But all the while, the people were forgotten. The Senate is the people's servant, chosen from the people and to speak for the people. I doubt if many people eat so well as you do, Senator, or have such splendid mistresses as you, Senator Gaius. I understand my young people. Perhaps the Emperor would be so kind as to teach us from his so extensive experience. <laughs> I call it love. The people are my children, and I, their father. I shall show them their love. I shall hold them to my bosom, and I shall embrace them. Have you ever embraced someone dying of plague, sir? You feel drunk to me again. I assure you that you shall. Disperse. Your emperor will do all that Rome requires. My lady, as always, your light is just commands, obedience. Traditions. My father swore against the barbarians. He said himself, it touched not. But still, the people loved him. 
people always love victories. But who are they? don't see the battles. What do they care about Germany? They care about the greatness of Rome. Greatness of Rome? What is that? It's, it's an idea. Greatness. Greatness is a vision. You wish it. Call the senators back. I will give the people a wish, and they will love me for it. They will soon forget the tedious sermonizing of a few dry old men. I will give Rome something it has never seen. Let the days of gladiators be back. And their fights in the sands of Colosseum. Reduce the rocks. I announce 150 days of games. They will be wrong, something it has never seen. They will love me for it. They will pick me. They will pick me as their real. Some are before 
fight it. I just not die. But I think you need both. What was your threat? It was a hunter. No, no. I got him from a sword to my incarnates. But a special one for you. You! A deserter? No, no. Who cares? He's a Spaniard. I will give you a thousand for two. A thousand? The Numidian is an over two thousand. No, no, no. Right, right. We can negotiate. Okay. For an old friend, I will give you fifteen hundred. And that's fine.
want to kill him, to entertain him. So I can kill him. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough for the provinces. But not for law. Our new young brother has organized a series of games to commemorate his father, Marcus Aurelius. I find it amusing since it was Marcus Aurelius, the wise, the world knowing, who caused all these games of gladiators. Anyway, after five years, we are back to Colossium! watching every moment of your thought, willing you to make the killer blow. The silence before you strike, and the noise afterwards, it rises, rises like a stone, as if you were the thunder god himself. You were a gladiator? Yes, I was. And you won your freedom a long time ago. The old Emperor Marcus Aurelius presented me with a rudeness. It was just a wooden sword. He touched me on my shoulders and I was free. I too want to stand in front of the Emperor as you did. Then listen to me. Learn from me. I was not the best because I killed Kipe. I was the best because the crown glowed on me. Win the crown! Win your freedom. I will win the crowd. I will give them something they have never seen before. For Spaniard. We shall go to Rome together and have bloody adventures. And when enough men have died, perhaps you will have your freedom. Here! Wife, you will 
son are already waiting for me. You will meet them, but not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Have you seen the Colossi? Did you ever see anything like that before? I didn't know men could be such things. Gladiators! Winter Club! Your time has come. Now, listen to Cassius for the instructions. When the Emperor ends, raise the weapon, salute him, and then speak together. Face the Emperor. Don't turn your back on him. After you enter the arena, you must stand in front of Caesar and say, We who are about to die salute you. Now, go and die with order. Whatever comes out there, we have a better chance of survival if we stay together. Hmm. been a gladiator to match you. As for this young man, he insists you are Hector Reborn, or was it Hercules? Why doesn't the hero reveal himself and tell us all your real name? You do have a name. Name is Gladiator. How dare you show your back to me, slave? You will remove your helmet and tell me your name. Commander of the Lock, 
Commander Felix Legions. Loyal servant to the true Emperor Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son. A husband to a murdered wife. And I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Yes, my 
before coming here, I went to your village. There, from your burning house, I got this. You 
will try for law. You will try for order. But I, I am an entertainer. Why should I risk my trades? God from no. Remember, kill the man who set you free.
remember what our father said once. It's a dream, a frightful dream like this. Do you think that's true? I don't know. Lucius? Are you? Do you know the story of Emperor Claudius? No. He was betrayed by those closest to him, by his own blood. They whispered in dark corners and went out late at night and conspired and conspired. But the emperor knew they were up to something. He knew they were busy little bees. And one night, he sat down with one of them and looked at her and said, Tell me, what you have been doing, busy little bee? Or I shall strike down those tears to you. You shall watch as he bathed in their blood. But the young bee was heartbroken. The little bee had wounded him more deeply than anyone had ever done. And what do you think happened then, Lucius? I don't know you. Hail Caesar. Your command is done. Senator Gracchus is arrested. And what of my nephew and of his mother? Shall they share her lover's fate? Or should I be merciful? Commodus the merciful <laughs> Lucius will stay with me now. And if his mother so much looks at me in a manner that displeases me, he will die. <laughs> and if she decides to be noble and take her own life, still, he will die. And as for you, you will love me as I have loved you. Commodus and his progeny will rule for thousand years. <laughs> Am I not merciful? Am I not merciful?
you on top. You take life when you have to. As to what? I have only one life left to take. Then it's done. Then take it now. They tell me you are son, skewed like a gun, and they nailed him to the cross. And your wife mourned like a whore when they ravaged to her again and again and again. The time for all yourself will soon be an end. Highness. became a slave, a slave who became a gladiator, the gladiator who defied an emperor, a striking story. Now the people want to know how the story ends. Only a famous death will do. What could be more glorious than to challenge the emperor himself in the great arena? You would fight me? <laughs> Why not? Do you think I'm afraid? I think you have been afraid all your life. Unlike Maximus the Invincible, who knows no fear. I knew a man once who said, Death smiles at us all. And all that man can do is smile back at it. I wonder, did your friend smile at his own death? You must know. He was your father! Maximus, you're not my father, I know. But so did I. That makes us brothers, doesn't it? Now, smile for me, brother.
us begin it once again. He was a soldier of Rome. again, but not yet, not yet. Thank you.